My name is Lauren Cass, and I'm a board-certified otolaryngologist head and neck surgeon with Kaiser Permanente. Today, I'd like to talk about the sinuses and symptoms of chronic rhinosinusitis. The sinuses are air-filled cavities in the bones of the face around the nose. The small cavities are connected to each other through tiny channels and drain into the nose. Infection and inflammation can cause blockages of these channels and lead to symptoms. An acute sinus infection is caused by a virus or bacteria and can cause symptoms like congestion, nasal blockage, pain or pressure, colored nasal drainage, and a decrease in your sense of smell. Most of these infections are due to a virus. They don't require antibiotics and will often get better on their own in a few weeks. If you have symptoms of an acute infection and you're not showing any signs of getting better after 10 to 14 days, then reach out to your primary care provider. You may need an assessment at that point. Sinus symptoms that last for weeks or months may be a chronic condition called chronic rhinosinusitis. This condition is primarily caused by inflammation in the sinuses. Sometimes this chronic inflammation starts with an infection, but sometimes not. We don't know the cause of chronic rhinosinusitis in most cases. It may be related to factors in the environment, such as allergies, pollutants found either inside or outside, or maybe due to something specific to an individual. The best treatments for chronic and persistent sinus symptoms are available over the counter without a prescription and can be started at home right away. These treatments are nasal sinus rinses and steroid nose spray. While they can be started right away, they usually don't improve symptoms immediately. It may take up to three weeks to notice an improvement, so it is important to stick with it. Let me walk you through a sinus rinse. You will need a Neomed sinus kit, which includes a bottle and salt packets. You will also need sterile water. You can buy distilled water, or you can boil tap water for three minutes and then let cool. The rinse is most comfortable at body temperature. Fill the bottle up to the line and add the salt packet. Mix the solution to dissolve the salt. Lean over a sink with your head in a sniffing position. Place the nozzle up to one nostril and squeeze gently. The solution will fill this side of your nose. Go back and forth between sides until the bottle is empty. Sometimes the solution will run out of the other side of the nose, or the same side, or your mouth. All of these are okay. The goal is to flush the nose, thin the mucus, and wet the lining of the nose. If you feel the solution getting into your ears, try to make a hard K sound while rinsing to close off the back of the mouth. Make sure to rinse your bottle and allow it to dry between uses and follow instructions for use on the packaging. The second treatment is steroid nose spray. Fluticasone is the most well-known, but there are others available as well. These sprays all have similar effectiveness, but some people prefer the smell or feel of one over the other. Try a different one if you don't like the first one you tried. These sprays don't work right away. It may take up to three weeks of daily use before you notice a difference. Then you need to keep using it. You can safely use nasal steroid spray for long periods of time if they are effective. To use the nasal spray, blow your nose gently, then tilt your head down, aim the nozzle toward your cheek and spray. You do not need to sniff in. That can cause the spray to get into your throat. It is not helpful there and can cause side effects. You also want to avoid the wall, also called the septum, in the middle of the nose. The skin on this structure is thin, can bleed, and it's not where the treatment needs to get to. If you experience nose bleeds from the spray, stop the spray for a few days and then start again. Make sure to avoid the septum. Steroid nose sprays need to be used daily and consistently for best results, and some people may need these treatments for life. Sinus rinses, and steroid nose sprays are not just the best treatment for chronic rhinosinusitis, but they are also good treatments for most other conditions that cause chronic stuffy or runny nose. If you have been using these treatments daily for over two months of chronic symptoms and not seeing any improvement, then it's time to contact your primary care provider. You may need an exam, evaluation for allergies, additional testing or treatments, or consideration of a different condition. If you ever experience severe symptoms, such as eye swelling and pain, sudden vision changes such as double vision, or high fevers, neck stiffness, or change in your mental status, then you should seek urgent care right away. Remember, for best results, make sinus rinses and steroid nose spray part of a daily, consistent routine. Thanks for watching.